I just wanted to give you a demo on blood cultures. I've seen them done really, really badly. I've been pretty successful with my blood cultures and I just wanted to share with you how I do them and how I've taught my medical students how to do them. Before I even start the procedure, I, we obviously need to pick a suitable site to get the blood from. And um, I like to give the um, area a good clean. So I'll just give it a good rub with the alcohol wipe and you know, looking at the alcohol wipe, I want to make sure that there's some surface dirt on there. And I'm also pointing roughly at the area where I'm going to be taking the blood from. And then I'll start getting ready, okay. Um, the blood culture bottles, I like to flip them, the lids off them, which is what you're supposed to do. Uh, I've seen some pathology departments actually put the alcohol swabs over the top of the bottles once you flick them. Okay, I've set things up so that my area is going to be here, patients here, I've got my sharps container, I've got my uh, dirty uh, general waste and I've got my uh, injection tray for my sharps. Okay, uh, I'll just open up my dressing pack now. So, yep, yeah, it's okay to leave the tourniquet on the patient, as long as you can palpate a radial artery, it's fine to leave the tourniquet on there. In fact, the tourniquet will be doing its job, taking all that arterial blood as it passes through the tissues and turns into venous blood on the way back, where the tourniquet will start to engorge the veins, making it hopefully easier to take some blood. Okay, so uh, with the dressing pack, I'm not really gonna use anything in the dressing pack other than the gauze once I've finished the procedure, but the dressing pack's going to give me a sterile area, a trusted clean area where I could work from. Okay, so I'm using um, what we use in the health service where I work at, and it's that 70% alcohol, 30% chlorhexidine swabs. And I'm just gonna put them there. Then I'm going to take my butterfly cannula. I have my barrel here that I can secure my butterfly cannula to. Then I'll now go off and simulate my three minute hand wash, come back my gloves on. Having a look, making sure that you don't contaminate your gloves. This is the tricky one, the second one's a tricky one. Make sure that my bare skin doesn't touch the glove. Start the procedure. Okay, so there's three swabs, yeah? So, the first swab, I'm going to clean the area. And I might use this packet. The second swab, I'm going to clean my bottles. And the third swab, you clean the area a second time. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of palpating the vein now to help me locate it. But this swab here is actually pointing to it now. So it stops me from feeling and over touching it. Okay. So I'm going to take my butterfly cannula. I'm going to screw it into this barrel that's waiting. And I'm going to take my blood sample. Just a scratch, madam. Okay, so now that it's secure, I can take the aerobic one first, fill that up to the prescribed volume. It's usually eight to 10 mils. And I can take my anaerobic bottle, fill that up to the prescribed volume again. Once it's done, if I need to take any other bloods, that's fantastic. Always do your blood cultures first. Now that I've finished, procedure's done, I can apologize to my patient. Okay, I would do a simple dressing and take that up. Really important to remember your sharp safety. Okay, so once I put a dressing on my patient, I'll dispose of my sharps. 
and that's how I do blood culture. So good luck and thanks for watching.